Hello everyone, welcome to Satic GK quiz number 292. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs, and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IV base, etc. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Right of Children to Free and Compulsory Education Bill 2008, which was passed in the Parliament, seeks to reserve what fraction of seats in the private schools for weaker sections of society? Correct answer is 25%. The Right of Children to Free and Compulsory Education Act or Right to Education Act is an act of the Parliament of India enacted on 4th August of 2009, which describes the modalities of the importance of free and compulsory education for children below the age of 6 to 14 years in India under Article 21A of the Indian Constitution. Which among the following regularly meets as a body to discharge government functions? The correct answer is the Cabinet. So on your right side, you'll see all the powers and functions of the Cabinet, including formulation of policies, administrative policies, etc. So though legally the executive authority is vested with the President, in reality, the Cabinet is the Supreme National Executive of India. So the, the President always acts as per advised by the Prime Minister and his Council of Ministers. So all sorts of national and international problems confronting the country are tackled by the cabinet. In fact, the cabinet is the hyphen that joins and the buckle that binds the legislature with the executive. Who among the following past presidents of India never served as chief minister of a state in India? So the, all the options are of past presidents of India. However, only one person here, which is Dr. Zakir Hussain, has never served as a chief minister. However, Gyani Zell Singh has served as uh, Chief Minister of Punjab. Uh, Nilam Sanjeeva Reddy has served as Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. And Dr. Deen Dayal Sharma has served as Chief Minister of Bhopal State. At that time when Bhopal was a uh, state. Who among the following presidents of India was the first Chief Minister of modern states in India? So modern states as in uh, once the states were uh, reorganized. So the correct answer here would be Neelam Sanjeeva Reddy, who served as the first chief minister of Andhra Pradesh when the state was formed in 1956. Which among the following presidents of India represented India in UNESCO once his life lifetime? So the correct answer here is Dr. S. Radhakrishnan. He was the representative of India at UNESCO once India became independent and he served as our representative in UNESCO between 1946 and 1952. He was later the ambassador of India to the Soviet Union between 1949 and 1952. In the Rajya Sabha, the states have been provided representation on which of the following basis? They are provided representation on the basis of the population. So, Article 80 of the Constitution lays down the maximum strength of Rajya Sabha as 250, out of which 12 members are nominated by the President and 238 are representative of states and two of union territories. Currently, the strength of Rajya Sabha is 245, out of which 233 are representatives of states and union territories of Delhi and Pondicherry, and 12 are nominated by the President. Power to dissolve Lok Sabha is vested with whom? It's vested with President who can dissolve the Lok Sabha on advice of the Prime Minister. So this is according to Article 74. Which among the following bill will not be lapsed in the event of dissolution of House? Correct answer is any pending bill in Rajya Sabha and not passed by Lok Sabha. So there are particular cases when bills don't lapse. These are A. When a bill pending in Rajya Sabha but not passed by the Lok Sabha does not lapse. So it is pending in Rajya Sabha and has not yet been passed by Lok Sabha. It does not lapse. Then uh, there is a case in uh, option. Uh, there's another case where the president has notified the holding of a joint sitting before the dissolution of the Lok Sabha. In that case, the bill will not lapse. A bill passed by both houses but pending assent of the president will not lapse. Uh, D. A bill passed by both houses but returned by the president for reconsideration of Rajya Sabha does not lapse. And some pending bills and all pending assurances that are to be examined by the Committee on Government Assurances do not lapse on the dissolution of Lok Sabha. Which among the following committees of Lok Sabha is assisted by Comptroller and Auditor General of India or CAG? Correct answer is Public Accounts Committee. So what is Public Accounts Committee? It is the committee of selected members of parliament constituted by the Parliament of India 
for the purpose of auditing the revenue and the expenditure of the government of india it serves as a check on the government especially with respect to its expenditure bill and its primary function is to examine the audit report of cag after it is laid in parliament under which of the following jurisdiction supreme court of india is duty bound to give its opinion on matters referred to it by the president of india this is of course advisory jurisdiction this is under article 143 which confers upon the supreme court advisory jurisdiction the president may seek the opinion of the supreme court on any question of law or fact of public importance on which he thinks it is expedient to obtain such an opinion that's all for today's quiz until the next video goodbye